film Broadway now making her highly anticipated return to the Broadway stage in the new year. Tony Award winning actress Adina Menzel set to star in the new musical Redwood. Menzel, who co-created the show, plays Jessie, a grieving woman who finds unexpected solace far from home in the Redwood Forest of Northern California. Menzel, of course, won the Tony for playing Elphaba in the original Broadway production of Wicked, which, as you may have heard, has been adapted into a film <laughs> that is in theaters now. And we're so lucky to have Adina Menzel joining us now in studio. Welcome, Hi. Adina. Great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for being it's here. such an honor to be here. I watch you guys all the time. Thank you. It's great to see you. We have so much to talk to you about, but I want to start with you coming back to Broadway because okay. people have heard this news and they're so excited. You know, they call her the queen of Broadway. I know that, <laughs> she it, that is, is, you know, it she embarrasses that. you, so I turn to that. Um, <laughs> but so tell us about Redwood, the show that you had such a hand in creating, yes. obviously, and yeah. it's so personal to you. Yes, I co-conceived of this show with my director and writer friend, Tina Landau. Um, over a decade ago, I learned of a woman named Julia Butterfly Hill who had lived in a tree, a redwood tree, for over 730 days in order to um, protest the logging companies. Mm -hmm. And before I actually fell in love with the redwoods, I will admit that I actually fell in love with the idea of escaping <laughs> <laughs> and what it would be like to turn everything off and sort of go and um, into this tranquil, well, what I thought would be a tranquil um place, a sacred place. And um, then I, and, and the idea of what I was capable of as a woman, um, could I do something like that? What would be my, my advocacy, my passion, my, my fortitude to be able to endure something like that? Then I educated myself and fell in love with these incredible, gentle giants mm. and learned that they, the ethos of the Redwoods is this incredible sort of metaphor for us as human beings and how we can be resilient and survive. And um, so this story is it's really beautiful. It's very special to me. It's completely original, a completely original musical. And it's about the power of nature to help us really heal. You say you read the story a decade ago. I think that speaks to what it takes to get something to the stage yes. from the birth of an idea. So what is that process like for you, who's not just showing up to perform, but is like, it's your baby. Well, I right? will say that I've my my success um, has come in a lot of original musicals before, so I'm well acquainted with um, the patience that's needed to do it, and it's something that I love very much. I really feel that there are so many new stories that need to be told, and while I love all the musicals out there with their movie titles or their brand names, I, I feel very committed to finding new work and also giving other young composers uh, uh, um, a platform to do to show their work and it's just wonderful to create something to stand at the piano and have a composer write a song for you and um, you know for, it's just uh, it's a process that I, I love very much people are very excited John it, uh, previews January 24th and then opens on uh, February 13th at the Nederlander yes. which is didn't you start at the Nederlander I with, did with, with Rens. Rens. With Rens. so wow. full circle I'm going to take my old dressing room which I used oh, to share and on. now I'm going to knock down the one next door to me where my ex-husband used yours. to be ah. and I'm going to take the whole thing as a suite you, you've earned it yeah. you've earned a suite thank so, you very so much that moment that return beyond the dressing room but getting in front of that audience again with the reaction unlike on film the reaction being so immediate and so visceral what will that be like live performance in the theater is that what you're asking yeah. uh, I mean it's my happy place it's 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 everything it's the reciprocity you have with the audience and um, yourself and sort of this the more love and the more uh, authenticity and vulnerability you're able to show and to give the more you receive and having this communal experience just like the Redwoods or this community and sort of feed each other and hydrate each other with their interconnective roots it's, it's a beautiful um, sort of parallel for how we feel as actors in the theater you've worked in so many different forms TV Broadway uh, television I think mm -hmm. at times how what is it like to take a production from the stage to film mm. Um, I like to say the biggest thing you have to worry about is um, singing mouth. So when you're in a the theater, you sing in order to get to hit the notes that we hit. We 
our mouth is open very wide. You might, if you were close up, you might see a cavity or something. <laughs> when you're on screen, they come here, but you don't want to make that same crazy face because the camera's right here. So sometimes, <laughs> I hate to tell everybody, but you're you're faking your singing mouth a little bit um, because you want to still look attractive when, when you're singing. Um, but yeah, so it's all about the intimacy with the camera and how subtle and how um, large. And most of the time, though, as long as you're really believing what you're doing, um, you're, you're in a good place. Uh, I mentioned you originated the role of Alphaba 20 mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. right? Um, on Broadway, you won the Tony for that. What has it been like for you to see this sort of phenomenon of a movie take off and people like young kids who maybe didn't even see the Broadway yeah. show now have this entirely new relationship with the thing you started? Honestly, it's been very profound moving for myself and I can speak for my good friend Kristen Chenoweth as well. I think that um, we just have such a sense of pride about being a part of this, um, the genesis of the show and its legacy and um, what it represents and sort of the sisterhood that comes from it and the um, permission it gives young people of all genders and in between to um, feel comfortable being who they are and their most unique selves. And Cynthia's performance, I interviewed her for the movie and she had such reverence for you saying, I I don't even want to try to do what Adina did because <laughs> people will call me out on it. I can't be that. What's your what's your take on her performance in the uh, film? Oh. Well we spoke when she first got the role and Everybody always asks me, what advice did you give her? And I say, absolutely none. <laughs> I mean, she's an incredibly talented woman and does not need my advice. I mean, I did tell her just to enjoy the moment because that as being a, her elder, I want her to know that it's important in these times in our career because things are so fleeting to really try to stay in it and really appreciate the moment. But um, she is just exquisite and does bring her own, um, her own thing to it while also being extremely respectful um, and loving to what was established. It's nice to see a new generation carry on the legacy of what, of what you started. And people are so excited for you coming back to Broadway. Previews for the new Broadway musical Redwood begin, as I mentioned, January 24th at the Nederlander Theater. And opening night is February 13th. Tony winning actress and co-creator of Redwood, Thanks. Adina Menzel. Great to Thank see you. Thank you so much. Happy Great to Thanksgiving. see you. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. That does it for us this morning. Jose Diaz-Ballard picks up the coverage in just two minutes.